think you were lifting. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving the heater on because this side, I forget which side I set it up. Sure. How's it going, everybody? So today we are going to be making some apple boxes. Do you know what an apple box is? What the heck is an apple box? Okay, so you know how sometimes when we're filming over here or we're working over here, I need you to stand on something. I stack up a bunch of boards so that you're taller. Yeah. An apple box is basically a box that you stand on or you can put other objects on or you can, if you wanted your table to be higher, I could put apple boxes under a piece of plywood and that would raise it up. It's a utility box that you can stand on or place things on. And if you didn't notice, I was like standing on it. Yep, yeah, Lucy is usually standing on a bunch of pieces of wood or something. Yeah, she's a shorty make short short. <laughs> so we always need to prop her up on something. So what we're doing today is we're gonna be building some apple boxes. I'm gonna make four boxes total, I think. We're gonna have two that are nine inches tall and two that are four inches tall. So they're gonna be a little bit shorter. And I think I can get all of that out of one sheet of plywood. I want to make four boxes out of one sheet of plywood. I bought two because I didn't feel like doing math. That's the honest truth. I didn't yeah. feel like... So that is the current plan. All right, so these are our measurements that we have so far. We're going to make two boxes that are 9 inches high by 16 inches wide and about 24 inches long. Because we're getting our width out of this, I want to get two... Oh, I just realized I did my math wrong. Okay, good video. <laughs> um, so I may actually end up having to use both pieces of plywood. I'm gonna try and get all this out of one piece of plywood, but I just realized I did my math wrong. So, you know, we're just gonna go ahead and wing it. <laughs> and uh, whatever we end up with, we end up with. How's that sound? Sure. Okay, sounds good. Good video. Uh, way inside down. Alright, hold on. <laughs> Don't push it so fast. Also, I just realized that I'm gonna have to cut two at the same time because I don't have enough space over there. I'm Wait, I know. How about we just keep it here and then, and then it can be a little fort. Lucy fort time. No, get out of the, that's not a fort. Get away from the table saw. <laughs> Why don't you go inside and warm up for a little bit? Okay. Have fun. Goodbye. Okay, so what I ended up doing is I cut two of each of these. These are gonna be my four inch tall boxes and these two are going to be my eight and a half to nine inch tall boxes. All right, start the cutting montage. Okay, cutting down to 24. Is that right? Hold on. No. 16, because we're doing 16 inch wide. 16, not 24, 24 is my next cut. No, 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 no. Don't you, don't you go screw it up now. What is expensive this time in? Corona. Start the cutting montage. Okay, now what I need to do is, these are the faces of the two sizes of boxes. I need to cut some slots in here for handles, and then we can go ahead and assemble everything. You know what, I think Lucy needs to learn how to use a drill press, right? She's good with a drill press, let's go get her. What do you mean, what's a drill press? You are the daughter of a woodworker, you know what a drill press is. <laughs> That's a drill press. Is that a bench? How dare you. <laughs> Is that How wood? dare you? Hey. 
All right, go ahead and mark it. Perfect, go for it. All right, so we're gonna wait for the wood to pop up. You ready, can you see it? All right, let it up. Whoops, that's the wrong button. <laughs> you just hit the wrong button. You're into cookie. is we're going to sand all of these corners, mostly on the inside here, okay? Cookie, please! You don't deserve a cookie every shot! <laughs> First off, we're gonna put this in front of you. Scoop. Get your hands out of the way. There you go. So this is a nail gun. It puts nails that are this long into the boards, okay? I'm gonna show you something, okay? This is off, so it's not gonna go off now. But anytime you're depressing this yellow thing, the nail can be pulled, okay? Fire. So look, see it won't do anything? Now it will, okay? So your job is to help me line this up. Okay, I want you to put one nail right there into this board, okay? Go for it. Good. Now we're gonna put it down here. Do not pull it until I'm telling you. All right, pull it. Good. And we'll do one more for good measure right there. Go for it. Good job. One box done. You want to try it out? Um. There you go. See, that's what it's for, so you can stand up. <laughs> Looks pretty sturdy to me. As a chair. Hi. It's great. <laughs> or as stairs. Or as an obstacle course. Wait, what is this? Stair Go for it. Go for it. Um. <laughs> you got it. Do it. Last one. Hey, you did it. High five. You, will you, will you, Ellie, do the obstacle course. You did it! You look creepy in the light. 
<laughs> but mostly we're just gonna use them so that all of the kids can work with us at the workbench. <laughs> all right, well, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you learned something, and hopefully you can use this to your advantage. Thank you all for watching. Catch you all next time. Catch you all next time. Bye.